This is the front cover of my magazine. It uses the conventions of a typical magazine cover in most ways, but I have also adjusted some of the features so it is quite unique and makes the magazine seem individual. The conventions that my magazine uses are the fact that it has a masthead. I chose to make the masthead really stand out by using a unique font found on dafont.com. I think that this font really links in well with the rest of my magazine and the patterns that it is made out of reflects the name which is the noise. Use for cover lines. The cover lines I use were selected from about 20 others that I had written. I chose to use these ones because I felt that they were quite interesting and would attract the reader to the magazine and make them interested about what will be inside. Cover lines are important so I had to ensure that I used were relevant to my rock music theme. Main image. My main image uses as follows the conventions of a magazine because I ensured that the photo I chose, Faye, was looking right, looking directly at the camera which made it a direct mode of address image which can make the reader feel more connected. Also, I used a guitar in the picture so it still had some connotations of rock. Finally, I placed the main image slightly over the top of the masthead but not too much so you can still read it clearly and understand what it says. This is important because on most magazines the main image covers the masthead. Barcode, issue information and price. These features were important with using conventions of a magazine because if my magazine didn't have these, it would be quite pointless. It made the issue information and price quite hidden and in small on top of the barcode so it wasn't too clear. Challenges. There are some features on my magazine that challenge the usual conventions of a magazine front cover. I tried to ensure that I followed as many as possible but I found that things I wanted to include would then challenge the conventions but I went on to include them anyway. These are the use of images. Usually on magazine covers there are quite a few images used to indicate some articles. I found that the magazines I looked at specifically at Kerrang and aimed to make the magazine have layouts like that. On Kerrang there are, there is quite a few images used on the cover like this gives the reader something to look at and usually when you spot your favourite artist on the cover you automatically want to read it. With my magazine I chose to only use one cover line image which is of the band Wood Vibrations. I used the image to attract the reader but now I feel that I could have possibly added more images to make the page look more interesting and appealing. Cover lines. In a way, I challenged the conventions of cover lines as well as following them. On my cover, I didn't include too many cover lines because I didn't want to overcrowd the page. On other magazines, there are more cover lines, which gives more information, but I felt like these cover lines were good to use because they were relevant. Puffs and buzzwords. There were just small features I could have used on my cover, but I chose not to because I felt like they would have made my page look quite unprofessional and not as neat as I wanted it to be. On most magazines, they put the price in a puff, but I didn't because it would have taken up too much room and look silly. Free and win are the only buzzwords I used on this cover. If I was to make it again, I think I would include more buzzwords to attract the reader's attention. Contents page uses. With my contents page, I tried to ensure that I followed all the conventions that typical contents pages follow. I did this by including a title, T the title on my contents page had to be interesting and eye-catching so it drew in the audience. I found it difficult to find a suitable font to use that still reflected the theme of rock music. I used a font to find this font and decided to lay it with black behind it so it stood out. Main cover line images. I tried to make sure that the picture I used for my main cover line of exclusive interview with wood vibrations was suitable and looked relatable. I chose to use the image of them playing at a gig because it shows that they are a band. Possibly for next time I will try to use a better image. Smaller images. On the contents page there has to be a certain amount of smaller images which relate to the articles written. I found it difficult to find images that match some of my articles. But once I found them it was hard to arrange the page appropriately so it all fit properly and didn't look too cramped. Next time I will try to find better images to use or I will change some of the articles to help myself. Subtitles. Subtitles is, in a, is an important convention because it makes everything much clearer for the reader and easier to understand. I struggled with writing the thinking of the titles of the articles under the feature section because I had to try and make them innovative but still relatable to the theme. Article information. I found this hard to do because I didn't want to write too much information but I also didn't want to write too little. 
Most of my article information is questions to the reader, but I think this draws their attention even more. And some of the articles, including some under the feature section, they have a lot of information underneath them, whilst others don't. Next time, if I ever make a contents page, I'll make sure there is an equal amount of text under each heading. Page numbers. Page numbers are important because it tells the reader where to go to find the article they are looking for. I made the numbers into a different font and made them quite big so they stand out against the article titles and information. I found my double page spread quite simple to do because I already had it completely planned before I started and I didn't change much from my draft. My double page spread follows the conventions of a typical double page spread because I have included a title slash headline. This is the main convention of a double page spread and it has to got to be large and stand out against everything on the page. I chose to do a simple headline of Wood Vibrations World Exclusive because I didn't want the title to be too long and overpowering. Byline. The byline is just a small section where I wrote that the photography and interview were by myself. I made sure that this was small and hidden away near the title. Main image and small images. I found it difficult to find a picture to use for my main article image because from all the ones I took, I couldn't specifically pick one that I like or that I thought would fit with the page. I eventually chose one of the band playing as it fit perfectly on the page. With the smaller images, it was hard to find suitable ones to use. Also, they had to be different to the ones I used elsewhere in the magazine, e.g. the front cover and contents page. I chose to put the small images of each band member down the side because I thought it looked quite nice and took up some room. Next time, if I make something like this, I'll try to make the article slash interview longer so we don't have to use pictures to fill up space. Written interview and quote. The interview was the significant part of the double page spread because the content of the article had to be quite professional so it looked like it was made by a publisher. I ensured that it was written in full interview style with the questions in a different colour and the layout being in columns. This is how I followed the conventions of a double page spread. Also, I found a part of the interview and quoted it on top of the main image. This quote is the important part because it should catch the reader's attention as they turn the page. Contents page challenges and double page challenges. I don't think that my contents page or double page spread challenges many other conventions because I used the checklist whilst making it. This helped me to ensure that everything on the page was relevant and met the conventions as much as possible. I am quite proud of the overall outcome of my magazine and everything it includes. It turned out exactly how I planned.